God bless you and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. So in today's video, we're gonna be cleaning the interior up a little bit on the truck. Went out to Pickers in Reno, Texas. Tell them more Motorsports Garage sent you for a 25% discount. Uh, but I got a dash cover. I got a speedometer cluster since my tack was stuck at 6,000 and fixed that problem. Got a little uh, bezel piece, a new mirror, a driver's side mirror because the other one was broke. And we're just going to go ahead and start painting these pieces, getting everything settled in there, and then we'll go over more. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So real quick, I'm going to show you what I found the other night when I was cleaning out the inside of the truck, and then we'll get started with the painting. Here it is. Hey everyone, wanted to show you what I found while cleaning the truck. There's a wasp nest in this, this left vent here, and I went to the other side, and there was a wasp nest in that vent as well. So I pulled the glove box out to see if we could find any more. And sure enough, there's two of them right there. So I don't know how many is actually in here, but we're definitely going to have to pull this dash out and replace it at some point. It's already messed up anyway, so I planned on doing that. But I just wanted to show you guys what I found. That was blocking the airflow. I mean, I was still getting some airflow, but not very much. So I'm wondering how many more wasp nests we'll find in here. So that's okay. This old work truck is getting resurrected the same way the Lord is resurrecting us. Alright, so here it is. One can was able to do the whole dash, the pillars, down low on both sides, and it looks pretty good. Now, obviously this looks terrible still, but once we put the mat over the top of it, all the black will blend in with the black fabric, and it'll look a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and get this back together, and we'll see what it looks like.
All right, so here it is with the paint on. Looks so much better. I like the dash cover hides all that. I will be replacing the dash. Um, just right now, it's temporary to cover that hideous looking thing up. But you can see now that everything being black with the black dash cover on, you won't see blue and then that maroon color. So it looks a lot better. Um, so I'm definitely happy with it. Now, if you get any overspray on the window, you can use the fine, super fine steel wool the grade number 0000. This stuff will clean the overspray right off of the windshield. So uh, it won't scratch it up, at least in not, a, not in my experience. It's never scratched the windshield. This is a brand new windshield on here, um, but this is just how I get some of the overspray off. Um, or you could just tape the entire window up and not have to worry about overspray, but sometimes overspray still gets past the tape uh, somehow. So that's just a quick little method to cleaning the window. I also have a Bull Boost John 316 steering wheel coming, so I will get that on as soon as it gets here. I still have to do the doors as well, because you can tell they're not done. The carpet, well, the leather or whatever that is, it's gotta come out. I gotta clean underneath there. I do need to replace this. I'm gonna replace it with a black one, um, but it's definitely cleaning up for sure in here, slowly but surely. All right, moving over here, we have Max Peating Rod's two inch drop spindles that will be going on the truck. They will be linked in the description. They look like a really nice quality and it will drop the front two more inches, making the whole truck more level. Now the truck has been doing awesome. I've been using it to haul a bunch of metal and scrap, uh, some firewood, all kinds of stuff. And it just does absolutely awesome. So we do have plans to do even more to this truck in the future, sanding, painting, all that good stuff. I'm limited on funds right now, so it's a little bit slow. So if you guys could please just hit that like button, share the videos and comment, it would help me move this along a lot faster. Um, another little tip, it's not car related, but peppermint, essential oil, and water, and you spray it around your property, and it keeps wasps from making nests in your area. So I uh, just wanted to pass that little tip on that I learned. I had to do that today because wasps are coming out like crazy, and we have to get started tearing that thing down soon so they don't start nesting in there and then we're tearing it down in the summer when they're all uh, active nests so we're going to try to tear that thing down soon as well so definitely want to stay tuned we have a lot more coming i just wanted to get you some content out and i hope you guys enjoyed it so i'm gonna go ahead and get off here and i'm gonna roll my outro and here it is i just want to let you know the gospel which means good news and the good news is we don't have to live this way no more who the sun sets free is free indeed Jesus died and rose again, conquering death for you and I. When he went to the cross, he was thinking of you. No matter what you've done, you're only one step away from the cross. So all you have to do is repent, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus rose from the dead, and you will be saved. And I just pray that this message reaches the right person, because I don't know who this message is for. But I just put it at the end of my video and pray that it goes to the right person. So God loves you, he's calling you, and he even wrote a love letter to you. Click the Bible link in the description. It's totally free. I get nothing from it other than the fact that you can make it to heaven. And it's not of your good works. It's not of mine. We are only saved through one name above every name, and that name is Jesus. And in the native tongue, it would be Yeshua. And if you want to go all the way back, Elohim, the creator of all, Jesus is calling you. He loves you, and he died for you. That's how serious it is. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of eternal life is through Christ Jesus. All you have to do is accept the gift. If I was to give you the keys to my truck, you couldn't have them unless you took them. Well, the same thing for heaven. Jesus is providing a way out. Everyone is on their way to hell right now on this one path to destruction, and he's providing the way out. It's that simple. God loves you so much. And I pray this message reaches the person it's intended for. Jesus does love you. And if you prayed for a sign, this is it. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here, but I just wanted to let you know this. Jesus does love you. God bless, stay safe, stay awesome. Jesus loves you.